And I use run one scripture. The Apostle Paul wrote a second letter to the Corinthians. The first letter to the Corinthians, he instructed them. Mm -hmm. And he taught them. But after a while, Ronnie, false teachers had come in. Yeah. Right. Many of them had been led astray. Yeah. So Apostle Paul had to write a second letter to the Corinthians. But I used the scripture in the in the funeral. And Ronnie, I don't know how old I was. I would say I was at least 40 years old when I finally grasped the thought. Maybe 50. Now I'm 63 years old. All of a sudden, like a hammer, it hit me. Come on, church, pay close attention. Something dawned on me. Ronnie, I should have noticed this when I was a teenager or even younger, but I didn't. But I was a grown man, had children. When one day I said, oh my! As I said earlier, we put so much emphasis in this life. Yeah. And there ain't nothing I like more than a responsible human being. Yeah. One, Ronnie, one Ronnie or parents that does well, teaches her children well, works hard that they can make a good living to supply the needs of their, that impresses me. Right. But that's not all there is. And Ronnie, in the second letter that Paul wrote to the Corinthian church, in chapter four, he said, and the very last verse, he said, folks, listen to me. He said, while we look not at the things which are seen. Yeah. Come on. Right. Look around you. Ronnie is used two or three times in his teaching and in his minister to the church. He's used the illustration two or three times. What year did y'all start building your house down here? Uh, we, uh, I started building 99 fish in 2001. Built at 99, 2001. Yeah. Had you ever lived in a brand new house before? Mm -hmm. Never lived in a brand new house before. Mm -hmm. Paul told the Corinthian church, he said, look around you. All this stuff that you see. He said, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. Right. Paul said, for the things that you're looking at, the things that you see, they're temporary. He said, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Everything that we see, this is a nice church building. Do you see it, smell it, or touch it? It's not more like it is a nice church building. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? If time, if the Lord delays His coming and time goes on, yeah. one of these days this church is going to have to be rebuilt. Why? Because it's temporary. That's right. I used the illustration in the funeral. Now, some of you guys, everybody in here has got different likes. And there's two or three in here like me. Mom said I was born with a toy car in my hand. That, I've been obsessed with automobiles since I knew anything. Roseanne will tell you. I could not wait. I lived, Ronnie, my whole life. Could not wait right. till I turned 16. You know how bad I wanted to drive? My aunt had to take me to Oak Hill on my birthday. I got the paper. Listen, back then, they only, some places just give driving tests once a month right. or twice a month. But Roy, I got a paper and I found out who was giving driving learners tests on my birthday. Yeah. I've lived my whole life to drive. And I got that thing. Department of Motor Vehicles has got the record of it. I got my learners on September 1st. Do you know when I got my driver's license? September 2nd. I went someplace else. We left when I passed that learners. 
We went to the DMV, got that thing processed, and I was good to go. I've never been practicing. Well, that I preach. I've never been practicing. But here's the illustration I used. I'm, I'm, not, I'm just going to hold you a couple more minutes. Being a poor boy, Rosanna T. Buddy, my, all my cars was taped together, wired together. Listen to me. But I had this strange thought. I'm going to work hard and I'm going to get me a brand new car. Problem solved. It was embarrassing, Ronnie. I mean, there ain't no way. It was embarrassing. I'd take a girl out on a date, and them old cars, buddy, they had been, you know, back then, they had been run through the creek. Water would get up in them. Yeah. You know, there was more creek crossings than there was bridges. Y'all yeah. know how them cars smelled. Oh! Especially in the summertime or in the wintertime, you turn on the heat. Yeah. That old musky smell. Yeah. Man, once it got in the floor, it just went into the dash, into the seats, into the headlines. They was no getting it out. Yeah. One of these days, I'm getting me a brand new car. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. You remember, don't you, Roseanne? Yeah. Yeah, Royal Blue 1975 Dodge Dark Sport. Lord help you. <laughs> you don't know what you missed, James. <laughs> Ronnie, it didn't stink. No. They wasn't a scratch on it nowhere. No. My other cars, the truck was plenty full of tools. Because they was clunkers, they was junkers. Yep. I had extra U-joints, you name it, I had it in the trunk. Yep. When I bought that brand new 75 Dart Sport, I didn't even put a toolbox in. Why? Because I had a brand new car that didn't need work done. Right. No tar patching. Nothing. I didn't need it. Four brand new cars. <laughs> yep. Little did I know. Less wasn't no scratch nowhere. I bought more spray bombs, listen, before I got that dog's dart. I'd buy them cans of spray paint. It didn't look a mess, but it looked better than before. But this new 75 Dart Sport didn't have a scratch on the nowhere Ronnie. It smelled good, it looked good, and it run good. Oh, little did I know being a teenager at that time, 18 years old, just a few short months. Oh, yeah. Come on. Yeah. I'd be holding that toolbox, Ronnie. Yeah, that was in the back of them clunkers. Yeah. Yes, sir. I would be getting me some of air fresheners to hang on my mirror. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because, listen, right. that brand new car was temporary. Right. Paul said, look around you. I don't care what you see. Right. It's temporary. Right. It's short-lived. Right. You and I in the building this morning, we got any sense at all, we say that's right, preacher. That's right. Everything that we see is temporary. Amen. Everything that we've experienced in this life. Amen. I was talking about our children this morning. Man, alive. You that's got young children, Lee, you and your wife Blake and Amber, all Nick all over the church this morning, you young parents. Listen, in a short while, in a short while, that love and that unity and that comfort that you got when you go to bed at night, that baby's is in the next room. Yeah. Yeah. They're under your care. There ain't nobody going to bother them. Why? Because Sheila, they're 
have your children, Blake and Amber and Lee and your wife, Nick and Tammy, I know the all kids is getting bigger. All over the church has got to go. That's temporary. Yeah. Cause in just a short time, them babies is going to be out on the road, Johnny. Amen. They're going to be out. Right. Zach and Whitney, they're in Cincinnati today. And man, a lot it does. You know, Ohio up in there, it gets worse. Yeah. How, boy, I wish I could. The other night, and you know, I was looking at the weather. How I would have loved to go back. Zach's 32 years old. I like to go back about 20 years. I said, You ain't, I'd like to see you. I'm not going to Cincinnati this week anymore. <laughs> Right. But that control, Ronnie, that power, that comfort that I had, yep. that I would call the shots. Yeah. Not that I do everything. It was temporary. Amen. It was temporary. Yeah. And the lives that we live, James, this life right. is temporary. Amen. But Paul told the Corinthians, Ronnie. He said, but the things that we can't see today, right. it's eternal. Amen. Amen. Sister Belinda, if we're not ready to meet Jesus, we'll go to a hell. That's eternal, not temporary. Amen. Right. Amen. Yeah. But if we've been washed in the blood, Josh, and we're ready to meet Jesus, yeah. Yeah. we'll get a crown of righteousness. Amen. What? The Word of God said that fadeth not away. Amen. Amen. That's eternal. So today, as they begin to sing, after we pray, you're here today and you say, Richard, I, I'd about like you. I'm putting all my eggs in this temporary basket. Man, I've looked at it wrong. I know, Ronnie, I'm not the only person in this house. Ronnie gave the illustration so many times as I was talking about his house. He bought the best faucets and stuff that him and Cheryl could afford. But guess what? He's already replacing faucets. Soon, he'll replace the roof. Ronnie, did you buy the best windows you could buy? Yep. Oh, Guess what? I already need replaced. At best, it's just temporary. Yeah. Because if the Lord tarries, He's coming. Right. You're going to have to replace it. That's right. This life's temporary, Ronnie. Amen. Just to get ready place. Right. Lord, we come before you. All the seeds been planted this morning. Now we it's decision time. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Oh blessed be the name of the Lord. Help us, Lord, to make good decisions right now. Help us to examine ourselves. If we, we've been putting too much of our trust in these temporary things, in this temporary life. Lord, we're not planning. We're not making preparations for eternity. Lord, you deal with each heart. You help each heart, Lord, to deal with you. So Holy Spirit, do your work. Do your work right now. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
place to be. 